Hey guys, so summer's around the corner and at the farmer's market this week, the berries were in season. So I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite summertime desserts, strawberry shortcake. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. We have all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt, sugar, Greek yogurt, a beaten egg, which I've added a little bit of water to, and cold cubed butter. The first step is to cut our butter into our dry ingredients. And today I'm using a food processor because it makes it really easy, but you can also use a pastry blender, you can use two forks, your hand, whatever you have, as long as you can get the butter really well incorporated. So after I get my dry ingredients into my food processor, I'm just gonna give it a really quick whirl, and then I just add my butter until it resembles a coarse meal. All right, so this looks perfect. Once you have it to the right consistency, put your wet ingredients into a bowl to combine. So I'm getting my Greek yogurt in here, and then my egg, which I've already beaten and added water to. I'm just gonna give that a quick whisk to incorporate. And all I need to do is add my dry ingredients, and this will get a great consistency. Your dough will be, it'll seem pretty dry, but that's exactly what you want for the biscuit part. So once everything is incorporated, you're gonna to wanna to turn your dough out into a floured surface. So I've got my cutting board. I'm just gonna put a little flour down on here, and then just turn my dough right out onto here, and then I'm gonna be patting it down. And you can also use a rolling pin, but don't mind using my fingers, so I'm gonna get a little bit messy. So once your dough is patted to about an inch thick, you need to cut it into your biscuits. And if you're like me, you do not have a biscuit cutter on hand, but you can use just any regular old glass and flour it so it's a little bit easier to get it off the dough and just press into it till you have your biscuits. And then I'm gonna put the biscuits onto a parchment lined baking sheet. That's just to make it a little easier with cleanup, so you can use a nonstick baking sheet as well. And then once they're all on there, I'm gonna reform the dough so I can cut a few more out. This one, once this last biscuit is on my baking sheet, I'm gonna pop it into a 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes. So these look perfect, they're nice and golden, and I'm just gonna let them cool before assembling my shortcakes. So my biscuits are nice and cool. I'm gonna put a layer of biscuit on the bottom. Sometimes you can actually, if your biscuits are tall enough, you can cut them in half. Today mine are not that tall, so I'm gonna use two biscuits. And I've got a biscuit on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of Greek yogurt with honey on top. You can also use whipped cream, which would be super yummy, and then some strawberries, and then I'm gonna do a second layer. Now, this is actually a really cute dessert. You could actually do it for Mother's Day if you made it ahead and your kids and your husband could help assemble it. My husband is not very talented in the kitchen. My kids are a little young to cook for me, but this way they're gonna feel really involved. Got my last one on there. So this is such a pretty dessert, and it just screams summer, and I promise you guys will love it. So I hope you guys enjoy this shortcake as much as we do. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite summertime dessert is, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Mommy, this is so good. I'm going to make this for you for Mother's Day. Aw, thanks, guys.